Hey, what's going on summoners? My name is Crumbs and today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the best solo carries for patch 1214. The meta continues to shift as Riot nerfs strong champions and enchanters overall, so we'll be sure to give you a quick rundown on each pick as well as their best builds at the moment. Nonetheless, let's not stall any longer and hop right into the video. Starting us off strong, we've got a top laner who has held up for multiple patches in a row. Shen continues to be a powerful pick thanks to his great laning along his ability to impact the map. With the nerfs to teleport and an increase in skirmish meta, Shen will comfortably be able to win his lane and win his allies the game as he shows up to fights unexpectedly. Regardless or if you like to play tanks or not, Shen is a great pick that you really shouldn't miss out on so be sure to give him a try. Taking a look at Shen's itemization, be sure to grab Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. You can take Teleport if you don't need Ignite to win the lane. As for your runes, you'll be taking Grasp, Shield Bash, Second Win, Revitalize, Cheap Shot, and Ultimate Hunter. These runes will strengthen both your laning base and your late game shielding. For your items, you'll be grabbing Frostfire Gauntlet, Plated Steel Caps, Titanic Hydra, Thorn Mail, Force of Nature, and Demonic Embrace. Feel free to grab Demonic earlier on if you don't need the extra resistances. Learning the ins and outs of these new meta champions can be pretty difficult. Not to worry Summoner, here at Pro Guides, we've got your back. With our in-depth guides, we can help you take your macro and mechanics to the next level. So if courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't you worry, we have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family. Next up on our list, we've got Sejuani in the top lane. While Sejuani has been flying under the radar for a bit, she has finally picked up popularity in the top lane. Her high base damage, strong laning phase, and nearly unkillable late game power makes her extremely strong. She can feel a bit weird at first, but with a bit of practice, you'll see just how strong she really is. Don't be afraid to limit test so you can get used to her damage, just be careful about doing it in ranked. Taking a look at her itemization, be sure to grab Ignite and Teleport as your summoner spells. If you're not comfortable with it, you can take Flash until you get used to Sejuani and then you'll want to switch over to TP Ignite. As for runes, you'll be taking Grasp, Demolish, Second Wind, Overgrowth, Biscuit Delivery and Cosmic Insight. With these runes, Sejuani can easily punish her laner and take multiple plates if left alone. Taking a look at your items, you'll be grabbing Frostfire Gauntlet, Plated Steel Caps, Winter's Approach, Thorn Mill, Demonic Embrace, and Force of Nature. Pulling us into the jungle, we've got none other than my favorite jungler, it's Voli Bear. Voli has consistently held his spot within the top 5 junglers again and again. He offers a strong and healthy clear, amazing ganks, high base damage, a simple to use kit, and can even disable turrets for easy dives. With skirmishes rising in popularity, he is only growing in power. As long as Riot doesn't touch his numbers too badly again, he's here to stay at the top of the leaderboard, so be sure to pick him up before it's too late. Diving into his itemization, be sure to grab Flash and Smite. You'll be going Hailblade, that's blue smite by the way for the slow and damage, also speeds you up. For your runes, be sure to take PTA, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Celerity, and Water Walking. These runes will help you deal bonus damage early on so that you can counter gank with ease. Moving on to your items, be sure to grab Turbo Chem Tank, Lucidity Boots, Dead Man's Plate, Thorn Mail, Force of Nature, and Zonius. Feel free to grab Zonius earlier if you don't need much armor but want to spike in damage. Next up on our junglers, we have Fiddlesticks. This creepy scarecrow has shot up his win rate thanks to Riot buffing him a few patches ago. While Fiddle was already an A tier pick, he is now fighting for a spot as a pick or ban champion. He offers a healthy clear, easy ganks, and one of the best team fighting abilities in the game. While Fiddle may not be as easy to play as someone like Volibear, he can easily carry games much harder than anyone else. Once Fiddle gains a lead, the enemy has to walk on eggshells as one wrong step can lead to a game-ending Fiddle ultimate into their entire team. Overall, if you like AP junglers and need someone to dump some time into, do not skip out on Fiddlesticks. Taking a look at your itemization, be sure to grab Flash and Smite. You'll be going Hail Blade. Once again, that's Blue Smite, so you can deal extra damage and have a slow, 
Moving on to your runes, you'll be taking First Strike, Perfect Timing, Future's Market, Cosmic Insight, Sudden Impact, and Ultimate Hunter. These runes will increase your overall burst while also allowing you to snowball faster than ever thanks to the increased gold from First Strike and Future's Market. As for your items, you'll be grabbing Hextech Rocket Belt, Sorcerer Shoes, Zhonyas, Ravidons, Void Staff, and finish off with a Banshee's Veil. Feel free to swap out Veil for an earlier Shadow Flame if you're the only AP champion on your team. How about we take a quick break from all these champions and move on to our favorite pro guides tradition. Today we want to ask you all what is one champion that you wish would never be S tier again. Personally, I would like for Yumi to be a worse champion and hear me out. We know that Riot is not going to delete her, but if we all agree to ban her in all of our games and no one plays blind or ARAMs anymore, she'll essentially be gone forever. Think about it. Regardless of what your answer may be, let us know in the comment section down below and let's get back into the video. Moving on to our mid laners, we've got Diana mid. While Diana hasn't been popular in mid for quite some time now, she's finally making a comeback. With an increase of skirmish meta as well as weaker mid laners, Diana has found a home as one of the better mids in the patch. She has extremely high mobility, great wave clear, amazing team fighting, and massive burst damage. Between her and the jungler, they can easily invade and one-shot the enemy. Overall, if you're looking for an AP fighter to play, be sure to check out Diana. Looking into her itemization, be sure to take Flash and Ignite. You'll want to use your Ignite to force some early kills so that you can begin snowballing. As for your runes, you'll be taking Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Shield Bash, and Bone Plating. These runes will give you high burst damage early on so you can take all of the fights you want. There are other tank builds going around, but they're fairly situational, especially after the Sunfire nerf. So moving on to your items, be sure to grab Hextech Rocket Belt, Sork Shoot, Shadow Flame, Void Staff, Rabadons, and Zhonyas. If you really need the survivability, you can grab Zhonyas earlier, but we don't recommend it. Moving on to our next mid laner, we've got Vex. For a while, Vex was one of the best mid laners in the game, and then suddenly she vanished. She was replaced by powerful control and burst mages such as Cassiopeia, Victor, and Ari. Riot gave her a minor buff to help her out, and she took off with it. The meta favors her playstyle, and these buffs help bring her back into the spotlight. She can clear waves with ease, dive into fights head first with burst and CC. She offers great peel, and overall, is an incredibly versatile pick. I know she can be intimidating to play, but if you're looking for a powerful bursty mage, be sure to check out Vex while you still can. You know, not that she's gonna be deleted, but she'll be banned, someone's gonna notice you can get ahead of the curve and get some free LP. Going into her itemization, be sure to take Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. You can take Teleport if needed, but we really recommend Ignite for some kill potential. For your runes, be sure to take Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter, Biscuit Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. This will give you some nice early damage as well as sustain. For your items, be sure to grab Ludens, Sorcerer Shoes, Shadow Flame, Zhonyas, Void Staff, and top it off with a Rabadon's Death Cap. Moving into the land from down under, we've got the first AD carry who isn't an AD carry at all, it's Seraphine. We know none of you are surprised to see that Seraphine has maintained her spot as the best bot laner in the game for nearly an entire year now. She offers safe laning, great wave clear, amazing CC, game changing utility and even has her own soundtrack. With her ultimate, she can single-handedly win games as she charms five people into a root with her E and a double execute with her Q. Overall, if you need a safe mage that can get you free wins, be sure to pick up Seraphine. At this point, you're losing LP by not learning her. Taking a look at her itemization, be sure to take Flash and then your choice of Exhaust or Teleport. Exhaust is great at keeping you safe, but TP will give you a lot of lane presence. For your runes, you'll be taking Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, Biscuit Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. This will give you some nice early damage as well as late game scaling. As for your items, be sure to pick up Leandris, Lucidity Boots, Rylice, Zhonyas, Seraph's Embrace, and finish it off with a Rabadon's Death Cap. If your team needs anti-heal, feel free to swap out Zhonyas or Rabadon's for a Chemtech Putrefire. 
Moving on to our next AD carry, we actually have one that does auto attack damage, it's Sivir. Ever since her mini rework, Sivir has quickly risen the ranks. On release, she was relatively broken, but it seems she has reached a stable state now after a few adjustments. That being said, she's still powerful enough to solo carry games, and her simple kit makes it easier than ever. She offers amazing wave clear, safe laning, high DPS, and some of the best team fighting in the game. With her new cooldown resets and high mobility, Sivir can snowball out of control later on if the enemy does not have point and click CC to deal with her. Overall, Sivir's rework finally brought her back into the spotlight, and while she may be a bit too strong, it's nice to see her back. For her itemization, be sure to take Flash, and then your choice of Heal or Exhaust. Heal is a great default choice, but if the enemy has anything that can get on top of you and kill you, then take Exhaust for good measure. For your runes, be sure to go Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Biscuit Delivery, and Magical Footwear. This way, you can sustain through the lane and play safe, since with Lethal Tempo, you'll be a DPS machine in the late game. As for your items, you'll be going Kraken Slayer, Berserker's Greaves, Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, Lord Dominic's Regards, and Guardian Angel. If you feel like you don't need the GA, then go ahead and grab a Bloodthirster instead. Before we continue on to the end of the video, if you want to join an amazing community of people like you that love lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So what are you waiting for? Join us! Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and take a look at our last few champions. Starting us off beautifully, we've got the Gem Lord himself, Tarek. Thanks to the meta favoring skirmish champions, you cannot be surprised to find Tarek here. As long as he's able to basic attack the enemy, he pretty much has no cooldowns and can infinitely heal, shield, and stun. Well, that is until he runs out of mana, so Tarek's laning may seem rough at first, but with enough practice, you'll be able to pick winning fights with ease. Overall, if you want a support that can beat up the enemy and nearly 1v1 anyone, then be sure to check out Tarek. For his itemization, you're going to want to take Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. For your runes, be sure to take Glacial Augment, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Conditioning, and Revitalize. These runes will give you great sustain and chase potential so that you can constantly lower your cooldowns. As for your items, you'll be building Locket, Plated Steel Caps, Winter's Approach, Frozen Heart, and Watchful Wardstone. Be sure to pick up your tier ASAP so it can be stacked as quickly as possible. You really need the mana on him. Last, but certainly not least, we've got Janna as our final champion on our list. While Janna got hit pretty hard by both the Enchanter nerfs and her own champion nerfs, she continues to have a high win rate. This is likely due to how versatile and powerful she can be. Jenna offers some of the best peel in the game, thanks to her shielding, healing, ability to knock up enemies, and the ability to knock up multiple enemies away from an ally. Plus, she gets a ton of movement speed thanks to her W, so she can look for quick roams. Overall, if you're looking for a great enchanter that can do it nearly all, be sure to pick up Janna. Diving into her itemization, you're going to be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. If you think you'll have trouble peeling an Assassin or Bruiser, then feel free to take Exhaust instead. For your runes, you'll be taking Glacial Augment, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Font of Life, and Revitalize. These runes will give you great lane sustain and powerful peeling potential. As for your items, be sure to grab your choice of Shirelius for mobility or Moonstone for healing, Lucidity Boots, Chemtech Putrefire, Redemption, and Watchful Wardstone. If you have an AD carry that relies on attack speed, feel free to grab Ardent Sensor instead of Redemption. And that sums up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join our Pro Guides family over at ProGuides.com where we offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you just won't catch anywhere else. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, good luck on the Rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.